End victimization, restore democracy. End victimization, restore democracy. End victimization, restore democracy. The TSSA a couple of years ago had an investigation into their culture, which came out with a Kennedy report. The old leadership basically got cleared out, so we started again. We had an interim general secretary who agreed to implement all the recommendations in full. Unfortunately, when he left and we got the current general secretary, and all of those things were taken off the table. We got rid of seven perpetrators, and now it seems that their friends are back and they're doing what they like in the union. Essentially, the dispute is just about getting those things back on the table to try and restore the trust and culture within the TSSA. Ever since our new General Secretary, Mariam Eflandus, was elected, very quickly all disputes emerged within TSSA. We've seen our own members. We've got a couple that have been suspended on what we view as spurious allegations. Unfortunately, our TSSA leadership then victimised a number of leading activists and graded suspensions, including Cliff W, who was the most significant activist to expose the sexual harassment of our previous regime. Steve Coe, who was our Assistant General Secretary previously, and Marios, who led brilliantly as President in the interim period when we had to transition from Manuel Cortes to our new General Secretary. We think it's no coincidence these are people that have spoken out about the issues that are going on and have been quite supportive of the, the TSSA staff, our members that are out on strike at the moment. I have a precautionary suspension with absolutely no reasons given apart from they're going to look into it. Um, so it's not even uh, an official suspension. You wouldn't expect any of our reps to tolerate that in any of the companies that we represent. Paul Mangan, he was the uh, EC member for London and South. Unfortunately, he felt he had to resign. It's not the first one. And the way it's going, he won't be the last either. He's a good man and he's got good morals and principles. And it's just a shame that it's come to that. You would expect a trade union better than anyone to understand about negotiation and what it takes to resolve a dispute. We've been through ACAS conciliation. We've sat around the table. Um, the leadership team won't even sit in front of us. We've always been in separate rooms with a conciliator sort of shuffling back and forth. It's quite shocking, to be honest. They need to sit around the table and negotiate properly and stop all this um, absolute nonsense about uh, a 12-month ban on strikes. It's absolutely ridiculous. What's been really disturbing recently and is just abhorrent to the victims and survivors is that TSA now is paying off perpetrators, including Luke Chester, who had an employment tribunal which he would have lost. They were suspending people who would have spoken at the tribunal. This is members' money. We also understand that they have allowed some NDAs, some non-disclosure agreements, in some of these cases, presumably, so people don't have to speak about how much they got or why they got it. TSSA, get back on track. We need our democracy back. TSSA, get back on track. We need our democracy back. We are just in the aftermath of a fast call TSSA conference. Fast call because of all the exclusions, fast call because of all the legal advice that uh, allowed them to ditch most of the motions, and that's including motions, to look at returning the women's group, women in focus, who'd helped to make the changes, demanded in the Kennedy and the Condi report, which was disbanded by the EC on a technicality. A lot of branches put forward motions that were seeking to call the leadership to account. But all of those motions were ruled out of order by the president as being bullying and harassing of the general secretary, which can't be credible and reasonable. The denial of delegates to attend conference when they would normally have been allowed to attend smacks of a real significant attack on our democracy of our union. Members are lacking support. We've just been in pay talks. There's been no negotiation. TSSA, get back on track. We need our democracy back. TSSA, get back on track. We need our democracy back. It's very unique in recent times that we're actually starting to see uh, staff and trade unions uh, starting to take uh, strike action and I think that that um, speaks volumes uh, in terms of you know the, the widespread issues that are taking place. UCU and the GMB and North Yorkshire and Humber and TSSA. We really need structural change in our unions for not just for head office staff, but for all our members. We need to be doing some work in terms of looking at the governance of trade unions. The fact that we see misogyny, sexism, toxic practices, racism taking place and transphobia, um, that, you know, is it any wonder um, that we're seeing, you know, declining involvement of young people in trade unions and, and women are being put off. We ask that everybody come and join the staff on the picket lines that people do not give 
the General Secretary, Mariam Eslamdust, a platform when she is clearly abusing her own staff, abusing her own members. She got a lot of support from outside bodies at conference uh, when she'd refused to use her own staff. Um, this is verging on scabbing. It appears that me to you, who were invited to Toll Puddle last year to speak about sexual harassment and bullying and how we reclaim our unions, we appear not to be invited this year. And yet we know that Mariam um, is billed on meetings and has a platform. And we would ask all those people in that meeting to ask that she is not permitted to speak or to refuse to speak themselves in an act of solidarity. Our union has been sabotaged by its leadership. And that has to stop. We won't stand for people being victimised by our own union. End victimisation, restore democracy. End victimisation, restore democracy. End victimisation.